Hello and welcome back to another Chinese fast food adventure. I'm Amy. I'm Elise. And today we are officially carrying on the proud tradition where we offer our unsolicited opinions on Chinese New Year fast food special menu items. We did it this time last year for the year of the tiger and we had so much fun that we're back this year for round two. Ugh. I could finish this off right now. Wow. It is officially the year of the rabbit. I have even uh, dressed the part. I have my rabbit little <laughs> hair tie. Let's go. We are starting off at, of course, Starbucks. How can we do, uh, you know, a New Year themed menu fast food items without coming to Starbucks, mm -hmm. the king of the seasonal menu items? Yes. And yes. Uh, because we're bougie like that, we are coming to Starbucks Reserve, this massive Starbucks here in Beijing. Two floors. Actually, Two floors I believe goodness. it's three even. And the New Year's special menu is almost as big as the store itself, but it's worth noting that this menu is only available at Starbucks Reserve. If you go to a normal Starbucks, this year's New Year menu looks like this. Now, this is quite a comprehensive New Year menu. Yeah. It says like Happy New Year on the front. This is specifically the menu for the New Year. And yeah, they're very bougie. We have a salty lemon golden tips cold brew. What are golden tips? <laughs> <laughs> My dirty mind takes me yeah, in I'm like golden nips. Sugar coated whore, lively Americano. Lively. Like what makes it lively? A spicy peanut latte. How spicy will it be? I have to admit that's the one that's grabbing my attention. Yeah. There's also a black sesame latte, panettone latte, juniper flavor latte, and finally a coconut oat tea latte. But look at the prices on this menu. They're 60, ex that's very expensive. 68 renminbi for a coffee. Like, what is that in American dollars, for example? Ten dollars! Usually you, you're going around 30 renminbi for a Starbucks coffee these days, which already is it's very, expensive. Very expensive. Yeah. Like, if you're getting a Starbucks coffee every day... Like, you're rich! Yeah, or you're poor. <laughs> <laughs> in my case. <laughs> Where does all my money go? Starbucks. Coffee. What one are you going to get? Because I love this the flavor of black sesame, like a, a Tong Yuan, oh. right? Tong you are, as yeah. a Beijinger would say. I mean, that is like what you eat during Lantern yeah. Festival, so yeah. that screams Spring Festival to me. Okay. So I think I'm gonna go for the black sesame latte. I think the next thing that is most like Chinese New Year maybe is this sugar-coated poor lively Americano, but also spicy peanut latte. I mean, I have to. I know that sounds Should really I get good. Two? Is that like that's crazy? That's right? a lot. That's crazy. Also, that's twenty dollars. <laughs> go for the peanut. Go for the spicy peanut! I want both. I'm sorry. It's Chinese New Year. Why not? Must spend some. Let's see. I feel a little disgusted at myself, I'm not gonna lie. But I keep bringing myself back to the fact that I didn't have to spend any money on Hongbao this year. Mm -hmm. There were no little kids at our celebration, mm -hmm. so I'm actually saving money right now. Yes, that's a, a good way to think about it, I yes. guess. Ooh, these are pretty. If anyone was curious to know what 200 renminbi worth of coffee looks like, that's it there. But I do have to say, they look really nice. You've got your... My black sesame oat milk latte. We have here the lively Americano. The uh, lively ha Americano. We have us, uh, you know, a ho fruit here, which you'll often see in Beijing in the form of tang hulu on a mm -hmm. stick. So I love that they've brought that little Beijing yes. here into this side. Uh, Very authentic. And you know, the one on everyone's lips. <laughs> the spicy peanut latte. Oh, we go from left to right. Okay. Okay, so let's try this black sesame latte first. It's beautiful. It's got like some powdered sugar or black sesame on top. It's got some kind of like drizzle. De yeah, some dehydrated strawberries, a dash of mint. Kind of smells like corn. <laughs> black sesame, it is not. Heavy on the coffee flavor, heavy on like a buttery, almost like a caramel. Maybe this is the black sesame on top here. It's like, it. can I lick yeah, it? Yeah, I lick it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's the black sesame. That's the black sesame. So on were top. we meant to mix this? Maybe. Yeah, yeah, use the stick. Mix it up. Did it help? No. Same. Yeah, same. What would you rate it out of uh, 
Rabbits? Rabbits. <laughs> I'd give this a one out of five rabbits. Whoa, you're starting off right out the gate. <laughs> you want to give it a one? It's not that bad. But it's not that good. It doesn't taste like black sesame at all. Okay, like, you know, I respect your rating system. It just tastes like any Starbucks caramel macchiato or hazelnut macchiato. There is no black sesame. It doesn't even have the smell, like... Okay. And it's actually very expensive. How expensive it was? Six, okay. 68 kwai? Honestly, that is factored into my rating of the rabbits. Okay, one out of five rabbits. Um, let's no. see if this uh, lively Americano can... The lively haw. Lively haw Americano. We can't forget that. Yeah. I think I'm going to try a little nibble of this haw. Okay. Oh, it's really hard. I feel like I'm going to break my... Careful, don't chip a tooth. This is don't a back a tooth, tooth job. <laughs> I can't oh my bite God. it. Man, that's hard. Anyway, let's try the drink itself. As you can see, we've got some layers here. On the bottom, a sugar-coated ho flavored jam topped with something called liu sha mei shi, quicksand coffee. This quicksand effect was most intense right after it was made. So let's mix it up and see, because I, I feel like that needs to be appreciated as a whole. Ugh. Ooh, that's weird! It's a bit yeah, maybe the lively means like nitrous or something. Yeah, maybe yeah. that because it has a, a bit of a fizz to it. Like oh, a bit I did of not a, like that. I think you need another sip. Oh, we are starting off bad at Starbucks. What do you think? You know what it's like. You know how, when you have strawberry jam on toast with like like a, a coffee from some random gas station and you're having like a put together like a very impromptu breakfast. In the car. In the car. Yeah. That's what this reminds Driving me with of. your knees. Yeah. <laughs> you take one bite of the strawberry jam, toasty, yeah. and then a sip of coffee. It's the taste of danger. Fruit coffee is not good. I have to say I'm not the biggest fan. No, I don't like that. So what, is this another one out of five rabbit feed? Yeah, this is a one out of five rabbit. Because again, for the price tag, it's not worth it. So I guess it's all resting on our spicy peanut Oat milk latte. It smell like peanut? It smells like spicy it smells peanuts. smells like nuts. I'm gonna go in with a big mouthful to get a little bit of those uh, red flakes in there. Uh oh, uh oh. Are you tingling? Are you getting numb? Is it spicy? Oh, it's crunchy. It's chewy. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> chewy coffee. Yum. <laughs> okay. Like, it may be the worst 200 RMB I've ever spent in my life. Like, I haven't really enjoyed any of these drinks, unfortunately. Like, taste it. This is the worst of them all. I'm sorry. Are you serious? I'm sorry. <laughs> I almost need to go in and refresh myself with some of this. It's that bad. Oh, no! Oh, no. This is terrible. Ah. I was hoping for like a peanut buttery Me too. flavor. A thick. Yeah, creamy. creamy. But there's none of that. No. It's just runny yeah. peanut water. Oh, yeah, well, it could <laughs> only get better from here. Let's hope today's food options score better than the Starbucks did. Very interesting situation because usually I refresh myself with the drink after I've had a meal. Mm -hmm. But I feel like in this situation, I'm going to a meal to refresh myself after a drink. Like I have such weird flavors going in oh. my mouth right now. Good old McDonald's. Let's see what they've got on their New Year menu. Oh, Year of Rabbit Golden Luck. So McDonald's is always really good at having these like Chinese New Year specials and definitely the McDonald's list of like special items is bigger than anywhere else. The problem is most of the special items sell out quickly and today, three days into the new year, we are left with only a few options. I really wanted to try this red bean rice cake sundae, but it's sold out. This is the same thing that happened last year. The only New Year special available for us to try today is this burger, which I thought at first was a French fry burger, but those French fries are actually pickled bamboo shoots. Crispy chicken sticks, mixed pickled bamboo shoots wrap. And I can smell it. Can you smell it? The pickled bamboo. Do you like lorsifen? I do. I think it's going to be a little bit like that. The lorsifen, the, the noodles that are made mm -hmm. with the pickled bamboo. So here's our burger here. Kind of an interesting bun situation there. We have our pickled bamboo shoots there. I don't know what to expect with this. It could be either really good or really bad. What mm. do you think? It's good? 
I really like it. Wow, immediately mm. you're like, mm, I really like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The smell, it's very pungent and it smells very sour. Like, I know that a lot of people won't like this because um, a lot of people don't like lorsifern, like the, the taste yeah. of this one, so and the pickled bamboo shoot. Yeah. It has a very, like, distinctive flavor, but I think with this burger, it gives it, like, a nice sourness and a nice flavor, and it goes really well with the saltiness of everything else in there. Also a little bit spicy. All right, have another bite, and then it's my turn. Oh, my God. I really like it. I could finish this off right now. No, give me! It does taste like well fulfilled. Yeah, it's not bad. You can eat the rest. <laughs> How many rabbits would you give that burger? Four. Whoa. Yeah, honestly, it's really good. You yeah. me? Also, it might have some... <laughs> I have something I needed to say. <laughs> what I wanted to take my burger out of my mouth to mm -hmm. say is the reason I like it so much might be due to the fact that I really didn't like our last stop, so... Okay. We were still really keen to try that red bean rice cake sundae, so we actually visited a few other McDonald's stores, but they were also sold out. We then went to KFC in the hopes of trying their New Year's special Da Panji burger. Da Panji, translated as big plate chicken, is a famous and super delicious dish from Xinjiang, but alas, it's sold out as well. I guess moral of the story is, just because you want it doesn't mean you're going to get it. We saw there was a Pizza Hut next door, and they had a picture of their New Year's special pizza in the window, and I was like, oh my gosh, we have got to to try this. Fingers crossed it's not sold out too. No way. No way. Oh, okay. Fancy that waiting at a fast food. I know. <laughs> Lining up. Only in China. The thing you guys need to know is that here in China, Pizza Hut is fancy. Here you've got three separate menus and you've got, you know, full on sit down eating and like table service. Fancy, you know, yeah. artworks on the walls. Yes. Like, this is a place you could go on a date, you know? Like, look at the things you can get here. You've oh, got look at that pasta. Yeah. Bruschetta, brusche, bruschetta. Oh, crawfish. Crawfish, all the pizzas. Roast duck pizza. Italian. Beef Wellington. <laughs> look at that. Don't tell me that you wouldn't want to go on a date and, you know, come here, get some beef Wellington. Like, fancy. The reason I was really keen for us to come here is that currently have a special menu item for Chinese New Year, which is actually a Fu Tiao Chiang pizza. Do you know what Fu Tiao Chiang is? No, what's that? So it's actually a dish from Fujian province, okay. and it's a soup. It's like the most expensive soup I've ever ordered. It's like 500 or more renminbi for a tiny portion. I was going to ask, is it more expensive than three Starbucks drinks? Yes, yeah. for sure. It's <laughs> double the price. Would you believe it? And inside you've got like abalone, uh, sea cucumber. Cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. High quality. It's nice stuff. It's very expensive. But they've got a pizza here. A, a, a Fu Tiao Chang pizza. And you know, I can see they've got abalone on it. Like, What's that black stuff? Is that the sea cucumber? I'd be very surprised if they have sea cucumber on a pizza here. Like, Pizza Hut having sea cucumber pizza? I don't know, is there a way of checking the ingredients? Let's see. What do we have on this? Okay, abalone, sea cucumber. Whoa! So it is, that black thing is sea cucumber. We have, yeah, wagyu, prawns, scallops, ham, uh, and then it starts going into the normal, you know, tomato, mushroom, this, that. A lot of ingredients. This menu list is very, very long here. First of all, a pizza with abalone, I'm already thinking expensive. But when we saw the price, 89 kwai! You're gonna tell me that a sea cucumber abalone pizza is less than half the price of three Starbucks drinks? What am I at? Let's order it before it sells out like everything else that we've been seeing today. Here at Pizza Hut, you also have the option to fill your crust with either cheese, sausage, double cheese, or pork floss. Hear me out. Cheesy crust is great, but when have you ever had sausage in a crust? Okay, let's get it. So let me present to you our extravagant seafoody, meaty, sausage stuffed, crusty, Fortel Chung pizza. So here's our abalone here, tiny little abalones. I don't know, I guess this would be the sea cucumber? What is there, two pieces of sea cucumber on it's there? It's expensive. Wow. It's a, quite a spectacle of a pizza. There's, it looks like it's even actually half-half. It is, which I love. This side seems to be more of like the seafoody side, but not even, like we've got some ham there. This side we've got our, 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 our wagyu. The first thing I'm noticing, there's no red sauce. I wonder what the base is. Let me use a breadstick to like examine. <laughs> or just not or nothing. Maybe it's just cheesy. It's just cheese. It's a cheese sauce. Salty cheese. Okay. Let's go for the seafood side first. I'm not eating the seafood side. You're not? <laughs> no, I'm allergic. 
<laughs> oh, somehow I managed to forget this every time we're together. It's okay. So the seafood side of the pizza will be for me only. Um, and what I'm going to do Which is, is actually take every single piece of abalone and sea cucumber and put it just on this one piece of pizza. Really getting your money's worth. Really getting my money's worth. Um, I'm just going to go in for All it. All right, here you go. Moment of truth. Put that there. <laughs> Napkin. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It's good. Does it taste like the Fujian soup? It tastes like a marinara pizza. I feel like the abalone is actually really nice and fresh. It isn't too chewy, actually. That's really good. Okay. It's a really nice seafood pizza. I, I'm i enjoying that. I'm also going to give this a four rabbits out of five wow, rabbits. Wow, that high. It's nice. I feel like the seafood is very fresh. I'm not getting an overly okay. fishiness that's, out of it. That's a plus. That which is, a is really plus. good. Um, yeah, it's, it's good. I'm, I'm very surprised. Yeah. I mean, this is the type of pizza that I don't know where else you could get this in the world. I don't know. Yeah. And I often wonder, right, like as an American and as an Austra Australian, before you came to China or before you go anywhere in the yeah. world and you have like global food in your hometown, you yeah. just automatically think that's what it's going to be like when you go there. So I'm very curious to know if like when a Chinese person eats the pizza hut here, if they go to Italy and they're like, this is not authentic. <laughs> yeah. And they're like, where's my hot dog crust? <laughs> and the Italians are like, wash them up. <laughs> well, talking of the hot dog crust, this is my first time ever trying it. I'm going to bite into it there. Mm. It's like a sweet sausage. Grab yourself a piece of that meaty side there. So we have some mushrooms. We have our Wagyu. We have some onion. Ooh. And of course, we have that sausage crust. Mm. It is sweet. Yeah. There's, Which a, I, there's a sweetness to the base of it. So it's sweet, almost like a pineapple-esque mm. kind of flavor. The beef is nice, it's juicy, it's not dry. I really wish that there was sauce, tomato sauce. I think when you come to Pizza Hut here in China, you need to take every thought in your mind out of yes. what is pizza. Yes. And just enjoy yes. what you get. Exactly. I think that is a very good attitude to have. But yeah, good on us. Second year running. I'll see you next year for our third annual fast food Chinese New Year specials <laughs> video that really rolls off the tongue. This is the end? This is the end. This okay. is our conclusion. Yeah. This is it for us. This is it for us for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm wishing you all the best for the year of the rabbit, all of the health and the happiness and, and the, course, money. the prosperity. The Get money. Get rich this year, guys. Yes. And yes. Um, of course, please follow Elise's channel, Elise Lightyear, amazing YouTube channel full of fun stories from her life in China. And um, yeah. We will see you guys next time. Yes. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. Happy New Year. Bye-bye. Happy New Year.